Well, good morning and welcome to Tuesday, the 20th of April. Uh, thanks for joining us and uh, let's get started. Um, Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Hallelujah. And here's a special Easter reading uh, at this time of Easter celebration that we're moving through right now in our morning prayers together. Blessed are you, Lord God, of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever and ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you've delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into your kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day, uh, the one that you've made, and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. And now, uh, Easter excerpts from around the New Testament that run like this. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. So let's celebrate that feast. Not with the old bread of corruption and wickedness, but with the new bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once and for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man death came death, by man another man has come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, even so now in Christ all shall be made alive. Amen. Wow, amazing truth. Uh, and so now is a good time to remind you that the night's past and the day lies open before us. So let's pray with one heart and one mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of a new day, we just pray that God would fill us with his presence and set our hearts on fire with love for him. Amen. So uh, now I'm going to read the psalm of the day, and today's psalm is Psalm 98, and it's a real treat, uh, because in this psalm it's entitled, The Lord Has Made Known His Salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won victory for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has been openly shown in the sight of the nations. What a lovely reference to Easter, even hundreds of years before it happened. Um, and so the psalm goes on. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness toward the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord, all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Thankfully, I'm not going to. Uh, make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing praises before the Lord, the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills ring out before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Something we're all wanting at the minute is equality or, or to be treated equally um, as we emerge from lockdown in these times of change. So let's have a look now at um, our New Testament reading. And for, for this period of time, this hundred days, we're walking with Jesus through the Gospels. Uh, we're walking with Jesus through our day today, Tuesday. So um, we're going to turn and have a look at... Um, uh, what Jesus is saying in um, a passage from Matthew 13, and, and it's about the kingdom of heaven. So he's telling a couple of parables and he says, the kingdom of, hev of heaven is a bit like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. But then in his joy, he went and sold all he had and bought that field. Ah. Again, the kingdom of heaven is a bit like a merchant looking for a fine pearl. And when he finds one of, of great value, he went and sold everything he had so he could buy it. The pearl of great price. 
and the treasure hidden in the field. Here we have the search, the discovery, paying the cost, and finally, the realisation of the treasure or the pearl of great price. You see, today to find the treasure that we seek, we do need to seek it out. And we can do that through reading the Bible and talking to God each day through prayer. This is how we find out how the kingdom works. But the point is that it will cost you all that you have. Because it involves switching from the earthly principles of get to the kingdom principles of give. But in that process, you gain more than you could have imagined, like the people in those stories. You see, if we try and hang on to our lives, we'll lose them. You see that through the social ills, the social challenges, the social issues that we face in our communities and in our country. But if we give up our lives for Christ's sake, then we'll save them. Because God's given us everything that we need to live a godly life. And we've received all of this by coming to know him. The one who called us to himself by means of a marvellous, by, by, sorry, by means of his marvellous glory and his excellence. Because of his glory and his excellence, he, he's given us great and precious promises like the pearl and the treasure. These are the promises that enable us to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption, which is just caused by human desires that cause so many problems and lead us into so much pain and strife. And so that's why it's good to turn to prayer and ask for God's help today for us and for others. So let's pray. Father God, we just want to thank you for today and for all that it holds. We want to also turn to think about not just ourselves, but the wider world around us and all its needs, of which there are many, but we turn to an all-sufficient saviour and ask uh, for things that are particularly on our minds today, that you would meet those needs in your power and your provision. And thinking about how we meet the worlds of the the, the needs of the world, sorry, um, we think about the church, your arm of help and hope in the world. So we just pray for the church and all that the church is involved in at the minute, helping it, the communities that it, live, it, it lives and works in um, through social programmes, through um, uh, the services and the truth it presents, through the, the help and the hope it offers on Sundays, but weekdays too as the church delivers a whole range of services that now are not just online, but increasingly in person as we move uh, through the various stages of relaxing lockdown restrictions. Just pray you give the church wisdom in knowing how to and what to through each of those stages so that we're safe and secure as we bring help and hope. Amen. We also want to pray today for the people of God that they would be able to share the help and the hope that they have. We want to pray for God's creation uh, and our responsibility in it as we return from um, COVID to creation and how we can really be wise stewards of everything that you have given us um, in this lovely world we, we, that we live in. Um, we also want to pray for those who are living in really challenging situations. Uh, even that you might call darkness or despair, that they would find hope and light, the kind that you can provide, Jesus. Amen. We pray for those who live in fear and and the way it kind of brings the walls closing in. We just pray that they would find faith, just like in the power of those verses we just read about God's great and precious promises so that faith would push the walls back and open up new opportunity and possibility and provision. Because God has provided all that we need to live, as we've just read. Amen. And now we have a special 
uh, reading from the annals of 500 year old history, the, co the collect. Um, Almighty Father, who in your great mercy surprised the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord. Give us such knowledge of his presence with us today that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in your righteousness and truth. Amen. Wow, that's amazing. So um, now, uh, 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 as um, you'll no doubt be familiar, a uh, lovely regular slot where we turn to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For your kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the risen Jesus grant us the joys of eternal life. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thanks for joining this morning. Have a great day. See you again soon.